Hey, welcome to this tutorial where I'll show you how to use Face Fusion, Face Fusion technology, how to install the software and run it so you can get these insane videos that you're seeing all over TikTok right now. So the first thing that you're going to do is that you're going to download Pinocchio. Pinocchio is a browser where you can find all different AI tools and stuff. Um, and I really recommend it for everything that is uh, Git related. Um, so you don't have to like install it manually. So I've installed the package here and basically it's just a drag and drop thing. Nothing really too hard. You just want to make Make sure that you have all the stuff in place. And then you go to the discover page. So here you can see all the different AIs that you can download. You're going to look for Face Fusion. You're going to download it. Um, it's going to download, install very easy. Okay, so this is how it looks once it launches. Um, and basically now it looks a little bit intimidating, but uh, you're going to very easily see how you can you can work with it. So basically the source is what you're taking the image. So if I'll click here and I'll choose um, someone, someone nice, for example, Ryan Gosling, why not? So then you'll click over here and choose your video that you want to, wait, that's the wrong video. Um, so then you'll choose your video that you want to face swap uh, and basically it's going to start crunching the numbers and doing some stuff. You can always look over here what's it actually doing behind the scenes. Um, but yeah, so you're going to upload it and then you want to change a couple of things. First, uh, these stuff over here, they change how um, you process the image. So basically, yeah, you can see this is this looks very blurry and so on. So we'll have face swapper on. This will face swap it. And now you see it's very blurry. Um, and you can see that it uses this uh, square around your face. Um, then you can use face enhancer. Um, it's going to take longer to process, but it's going to be much more sharper overall. And then you can use frame enhancer on top of that. And that's going to make it almost uh, as a normal video, but it takes a very long time to, to process. Um, then you also want to use all execution providers that you have available. It's going to speed stuff up a little bit. And then here, um, what I also do is that I use male and I put adult because we're both adults. Um, and it's just going to do a very slight change of stuff. Um, and then if you want to generate, you can always save a frame or you can generate, um, you can use this for videos and images as well. You can see that it does the face swap with Ryan Gosling quite, quite nice. Um, and then for the video quality, I usually put a hundred over here and I never use a 4k footage for my input video because then it takes a humongous time and uh, space uh, to render it out. So I always use a full HD clip um, and sometimes it's better just to crop it to an HD clip. So you have like 1080 by 1080 pixels for your face um, and it can process much more faster. And for other settings, you don't really want to mess it up. Um, I've tried the different settings here and there are um, some subtle differences, but it's not a big, big difference overall. Um, and yeah, and then you can basically uh, hit start and it's going to start rendering those couple of uh, frames that you have in the footage, right? Now you can see how it renders and what was it going to do. And it's going to take some time, so I'll leave it running. A few moments later. Okay, so we've got it. Um, and now we can play the video and see the result. And here we can see how it looks. And I think it's pretty cool. So yeah, you can see that it's just a couple of frames, uh, a couple of seconds, and it took like, I don't know, 10 minutes to render. So it's very time intensive, very resource intensive, but it's, it's cool. Like you can do really nice stuff and if you see you know, it's a, it's a really good, uh, good view. So yeah, that's, that's face fusion. If you want to see more AI tools, more AI stuff, follow me on my Instagram and you know, see you next time, I guess.